Hi guys, this is Daryl and welcome back to Sci-Fi Odyssey. Today we're diving into five lesser known space opera gems that you need to read. Space opera is grand in scale and scope, emphasizing adventure, complex characters and dramatic conflicts that can often span star systems and galaxies. This sci-fi subgenre was traditionally propelled to popularity by its blend of high stakes plot an exploration of philosophical and moral dilemmas, setting the canvas where the big questions of existence meet the raw thrill of adventure. In a sub-genre so stuffed with intergalactic goodies such as amazing works like Hyperion and Dune, which get a lot of attention, and rightly so, let's take a moment to praise some epic space opera masterpieces deserving of acclaim yet remain largely under the radar of mainstream audiences. First on our list is Fallen Dragon, by Peter F. Hamilton. This masterwork deftly combines the depth of space opera with military sci-fi. Published in 2001, the story is set in an era where interstellar travel is monopolized by corporates and asset realization becomes a euphemism for plunder. In a reality dominated by the iron grip of corporate entities, the stars themselves are up for sale, and the exploration of space is no longer a quest for knowledge, but a merciless scramble for profits. Lawrence Newton, a sergeant in the mercenary army of one such corporation, thirsts for a quest that transcends the mundane greed of his superiors. As he embarks on a perilous journey fraught with corporate espionage and battles over alien worlds, he must navigate a treacherous path between his duties and his dreams. Fallen Dragon stands out as an underrated gem because despite its masterful exploration of human motivation against a cosmic backdrop, it has often been overshadowed by Hamilton's other series like Night's Dawn Trilogy or The Commonwealth Saga. Yet those who discover Fallen Dragon are treated to a nuanced story where the fabric of human life is stretched across the framework of an unforgiving universe. The novel probes the existential crisis of self, all while propelling us through an adventure that questions the very essence of human expansion into the stars. It's a journey through the dark and light of our species' collective ambitions, making Fallen Dragon a must-read for enthusiasts of deep space and deeper questions. Next up is Light by M. John Harrison, a novel that pulls no punches with its unique narrative structure and mind-bending science. Released in 2002, this novel shines with its innovative narrative and cerebral allure of quantum mechanics wrapped in a space opera package. The story combines three narratives, separated by centuries but bound by the enigma of the Kefahuchi Tract, a space-time anomaly that has lured civilization with its promises and mysteries. Light intertwines the fates of a 20th century physicist, who happens to also be a serial killer, a 25th century space adventurer, and a pilot of the far future, each grappling with personal demons and the inexplicable forces of the universe. Why then does Light remain an unsung hero in the realm of space operas? It's a conundrum worthy of the quantum uncertainties it depicts. I've often said that this is a book you will either hate or love. One way or another, it will elicit a strong reaction. Perhaps its underrated osity could be put down to the very complexity and literary prowess of Harrison, making it a somewhat less accessible sci-fi to the casual sci-fi reader. Regardless, Light remains a cult classic for those who are brave enough to dive into its depths. Its interplay between microcosm and macrocosm, the intimate and infinite, renders it a masterpiece that transcends the boundaries of traditional space opera to offer a meditation on the nature of existence. Our third gem is Gridlinked by Neil Asher, a fast-paced thriller set in a far-flung interstellar society. Published in 2001, this novel introduces us to Agent Ian McCormack, a cybernetically enhanced operative of the polity, a society where humans and AI coexist and thrive. Cormac is the epitome of efficiency, his emotions subdued by years of direct linkage to the grid, a network that spans the stars. However, stripped of his connection, Cormac must relearn what it means to be human while unraveling a conspiracy that threatens the polity. Gridlinked is the first in the Ian Cormac series, also known as the Polity series, a collection that expands Asher's vision of a complex future rife with conflict and moral ambiguity. 
Yet despite its critical acclaim and the development of a loyal following, Gridlinked and its sequels remain somewhat overshadowed by the heavyweights of the genre. But make no mistake, Ash's work rewards readers with a profound exploration of AI, governance and what it means to be alive. Next up we have Timothy Zahn's The Icarus Hunt, a space odyssey with a twisty noir centre. Published in 1999, this novel is a foray into the dark recesses of space where trust is as scarce as oxygen. In this galaxy-spanning adventure, Jordan McKell finds himself piloting a seemingly ordinary freighter, the Icarus, with a cargo that's anything but. Beside him is Ixil, an alien with two symbiotic creatures perched on his shoulders, always watching, always alert. As Mikkel and Ixil navigate the treacherous space lanes, they're not just steering a ship, they're guarding a secret that could ignite the stars. But they're not alone in their knowledge. Someone aboard is willing to kill to seize that secret, plunging Mikkel into a labyrinthine plot of deception and betrayal. As the danger mounts, so do the secrets, with each crew member hiding their own slice of the dark void. What renders the Icarus Hunt an unsung great in the universe of space opera? Despite Timothy Zahn's acclaim for other works, particularly within the Star Wars expanded universe, the Icarus Hunt cruises under the radar. Its subtle brilliance lies in an expert pacing and its noirish plot that's as tightly wound as a spiral galaxy. This hidden gem is an amalgamation of classic whodunit elements set against the infinity of space, where the isolation and paranoia of deep space travel amplify the suspense. It's a game of cosmic cat and mouse that spins traditional sci-fi tropes into a narrative that's both familiar and refreshingly novel. Capping off our list is A Fire Upon the Deep by Verna Vinge, a grand tale of conflict and survival on a galactic scale. A Fire Upon the Deep is an ambitious tale where high technology and ancient enigmas collide. Published in 1992, this novel has since set a benchmark for the space opera genre. In this universe, the galaxy is a stratified expanse of intelligence, with zones of thought depicting the upper limits of technology and consciousness. At the very heights lie the transcend, home to godlike entities beyond comprehension. It is here that a dormant power awakens, unleashing a blight that threatens to devour all levels of the galaxy. Vinge crafts a narrative that spans the extremes of the cosmos, from the depths of a medieval world to the farthest reaches of superintelligence. It's a saga of factions warring across stars, of a quest to halt the relentless spread of a malevolent force, and of the improbable alliances that form in the face of annihilation. Despite winning the Hugo Award for Best Novel, I often find that A Fire Upon the Deep and its prequel A Deepness in the Sky often absent from space opera discussions, perhaps because of its sheer imaginative breadth and the complexity of its ideas. It challenges readers with the conception of a segmented universe while weaving a story that is profoundly human as it is cosmic. For me, this book is underrated in the sense that it deserves even more recognition for its pioneering vision and its contribution to the new space opera. These five space operas are must-reads for any sci-fi enthusiast looking to embark on an extraordinary adventure. Let me know in the comments which of these you will dive into and what's your favourite space opera of all time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Until next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you're craving an extraordinary journey through realms unexplored, consider delving into universes directly out of my brain by checking out my sci-fi novels Black Milk and Delphine Descends. You can find more details in the description. Thanks for your support.